welcome back. Now, before we even start, I would like to say, Team Tom, the organized mum community, all of you lot, whether, whether you follow my content on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, not many of you on TikTok, to be fair, but you know you still, still are amazing. <laughs> I'm still trying to learn TikTok. And here on YouTube, you are at such an amazing community that I am so proud of because last week on the daily episodes, someone asked me a question and it was a question that I couldn't personally answer myself because that is not a challenge that I am faced with currently. And it's a, and it wasn't a challenge that I was faced with when I was developing the organized one method. And you have to remember when I developed the organized one method, I developed it for me, like purely for me as a new parent. I was like in my early twenties and um, I didn't ever dream or envisage that A, I'd still be following it now because it was just a mean, it felt like a means to an end at the time. But also hundreds of thousands of people would also be following along as well in the future. So it absolutely, it, 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 it never fails, I'm speechless because it never fails to amaze me how amazing you all are and how you all support each other, especially on the Facebook group. If you're not a member of the Facebook group, I can't recommend joining enough. I know not a lot of you on here have Facebook, maybe you, you know, you, you, you've fallen out of love with Facebook or whatever. But if you do have it, it is such a lovely community. I put this question out. So this, this was the question that I had. It was a comment on a YouTube video from last week. I'm always trying to find advice on how to manage when your physical health is bad. I know that the disabled and chronically ill community would be so grateful if there was some good advice for us. The people who are in between healthy and requiring carers really struggle a lot and a lot follow you, as in me. For example, some of us may only have the capacity to do a week's worth of cleaning over two weeks, and it would be so helpful to have some advice on how to do that, like making some jobs fortnightly. I get so overwhelmed by the jobs I need to do, but I can't think straight about how to adapt Tom to us. So I was like, okay, I, 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 I can give my best advice, but as I spoke about in the other video when we had a question saying, you know, I feel judged. I've just had a baby. I feel judged that my home isn't tight enough. I can only give you what I would perceive to be the correct, like perceived to be the answer based on my own sphere of experience. Now, obviously this, this is not my lived experience. So I put the question out to Facebook, the organized mom community. And I was just like, look, we need help. There's a Toma in need of our help. And the response, the considered replies, the amount of time and effort that people have taken to write down their response to this is quite frankly incredible. So go and have a look. I have not got time in this video to go through every single one of these answers. But I, when I say go and read them, I wholeheartedly mean that because they are, it's, they are so rich in advice. It's a treasure trove of ideas, suggestions, motivation, and also just hand holding which is just amazing so i am going to choose a few that really stood out to me and i'm going to share them with you in this video now something that someone put here that really really jumped out at me is this okay and this was from nikki and nikki said it's so important to find your own normal and this this is so true right and she's put, in your question, you mentioned a week's worth of cleaning taking two weeks. That is not what is happening. That is not a week's worth of cleaning for you. It's two weeks of cleaning. And this is such an important thing to talk about. Every single one of us is different. Every single one of our homes is different. As our lives progress and move on, we will face challenges, physical challenges, mental health challenges, um, having new babies, new babies, moving house, new jobs, all of these things meld into one to form our life experience. And it's so important to recognize what is going to work for you at 
your moment of the life that you're in right now. So going back to what I said about the organized one method, never, I never envisaged me sharing it with anyone. Take the bare bones of it. Take the bare bones and strip it back to what suits you and your life. It's just a kernel of an idea, an inkling, something that's, you know, will spur on a little bit of inspiration. And the fundamental underlying idea of Tom is bite-sized chunks, small bite-sized chunks. Because when I know, when I designed it, when I knew that I needed a, a structure, it was because my mental health challenges, not physical health challenges, but my, my mental health challenges were making me become like borderline obsessive with the cleaning. And breaking it down into chunks gave me that headspace and that permission to be imperfect. So when we take that idea out, of, you know, out, like lift it out, that's the, that's the basis of the method. So when you assess what it is that you are able to do each day, each week, every other week, every month, and then work out what it is, the amount of energy that you have, the amount of physical capabilities that you have, and then cut your cleaning cloth accordingly. And this is what someone else has said as well here, is a lot of people talk about pacing and breaking things down into small chunks. So bear in mind that a lot of people that replied are living this as well. There's, there's, the community is huge. And we just got so many, I know I said it, I'm going to keep saying it because it, it just, it, it was incredible. It made me emotional, the amount of effort and time that people put into their replies to help a seeming stranger on the internet. You know, the internet gets a bad reputation, but some sometimes it can just be incredible. But there was a lot of comments saying pacing, pacing, pacing. And I think we've all heard this before. Break it down into bite-sized chunks. And it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me something I don't know. But actually sitting with that concept and thinking about it and maybe like waking up in the morning, especially if your energy levels or whatever it is can change on a daily basis, work out what have I got in me to do today? What have I got in me to do today? And then if you have thought about the tasks and maybe broken them down into subtasks, and subtasks again. So really sort of taking one concept like cleaning the fridge on a kitchen Friday focus, for example. I in my in my personal head that cleaning the fridge is just one task. But for you, that might need to be no, I can't. That's not something that I can do in one go. Okay, right. So let's break cleaning the fridge down into subtasks. So that becomes one shelf. That's one task. And the um, little baskety bits in the door, you know, where you keep your milk. Unclipping that, wiping that down, popping that, that's one task. So how granular can we make, Tom, how granular can we make the organised mum method? A anything is better than nothing. You know, I, I go on and on and on and on about normal homes and how there's no such thing as a perfect house. And I try so hard on my social media to reflect that in terms of showing what normal houses are like. And this is your normal. So what is your normal? Like, what is your baseline? And recognizing that that is okay for you. Like no, no, looking at someone else's house, fine, whatever, but don't compare it because it's not the same. They have not got the lived experience as you, they are not living your life. And anything is better than nothing. This is something that I find a really good piece of advice. Consider, write a list of the things that you could do seated. And I think when I was reading through the comments, it really gave me an appreciation of how much I, I personally take my physical health for granted. Like I get up in the morning, I'll take the dogs for a walk. I'll, I'll do my 30 minutes of cleaning. I kind of, you know, whiz straight as fast as I can. I'll go to a spin class or I'll get on my Peloton bike or that sort of thing. And I, I, I take it for granted. And I, I kind of feel 
I was reading through these comments and I, I, I feel really bad for not reflecting this um, side of the organized one method. So I'm trying to put it right. I'm, tr I'm trying to put it right. But consider the sort of things that you can do seated and the sort of things that you know you are able to do and only attempt the things that you know that you're able to do. Going back to that comment right at the beginning, trying to shoehorn two weeks of cleaning into one week, you know, like for, for you, if it's two weeks worth of cleaning, that's two weeks worth of cleaning. Trying to like put a square peg into a round hole here is going to end up in frustration. It's going to end up in burnout. And this as well, this came in from Heather. I think one important thing to remember is that when you finally do have a moment of not feeling too bad, you don't need to spend that moment breaking yourself to catch up. And she's put here, this is what I always do. I have a good day and absolutely shatter myself and then, and then have more bad days as a consequence. It's very hard to pace yourself and find balance, but it's important not to blame yourself for struggling. I really like this one as well. And everyone's energy level is different. What I classify as a successful day isn't the same as what someone else might classify as a successful day. So the, the, this is it. We're all so, so different. It, it, we're so different. So it's why it's completely, it's such a, it's such a fool's errand to be comparing yourself to anybody because everybody is just different. Um, the days I have more energy, I do more. Acceptance is key. Here's what I do for me. Number one, do what you can, whether that's five minutes, 10 minutes or an hour. Do what bothers you the most. Usually for me, that's the living room, but that could just be 10 minutes putting things away. Number three, know what energy you have to expand that day, expend that day and see what else you have to do. Yeah, so housework, you know, it isn't the be all and end all. So if you've got a busy day, say you, you're, you've got other lots of other tasks you've got to do, maybe you've got to go to appointments or that sort of thing, is pushing yourself to do the full 30 minutes going to put you on the back foot so that you feel really rubbish for the rest of the day. So work out what it is, the energy that you've got to expend throughout the whole day, and then work out if you have any of that energy to put into the cleaning. If I know I've got a busy day, then very little housework will get done. If you can, if you're able to get help, who lives in the house, what else could they do? Learn to let go. Sometimes it's messy. That's okay. This is something that I think is a, a big thing. And I talk about it lots in the Rock the Housework episodes is do the thing that's going to take the least time and energy and effort, but it's going to have the biggest impact. So that could be vacuuming. It could just be a quick tidy, something that's going to make you go, yeah, I did that. And she's gone on to say, finally, those, those of us with illness can't work as much or as fast. Dinners, school uniforms can all feel like climbing Everest on a daily basis. It's a question of being really honest with yourself about what really needs to be done versus what you would like to be done. And I think that's key. I, I think that's there's quite a deep phrase there. Working out what really needs to be done versus what you'd like to be able to do. Some practical advice here. Have a look at the tools you use. A litter picker is much easier than bending to pick stuff off the floor and will grab pretty much anything. A dust buster on a pole is lighter and easier than using a hoover for getting the cobwebs down. And a long handled dustpan and brush is a godsend. Gina said, don't do the bathroom every day. It looks nice, guess when it's done, but it's an, a massive effort to do it every single day. Break it down into manageable chunks. Windows and skirting boards don't need to be done every single week. And Hazel said, this is me. On good days, I'm working on improving the house, just generally decluttering, reducing stuff, organizing. On okay-ish days, I follow the method. And on days that I'm struggling, I do maybe two tasks. So I don't feel like I've done nothing at all. But I think the most important thing is not to beat yourself up about it and not feel guilty. Your best is the best that you can do that you can manage on that day it doesn't matter what anyone else is doing it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks it's what is it, it, it's what is going to work for you and your home and by work I mean 
a way of doing it that is not going to bring more challenges, like make you more tired. So I guess I would go back to absolute basics. I would sit down, I would have a think about your home. Forget about me, forget about what I say, right? Forget about what is on those Tom principles. Use that, maybe the Tom principles as like a guide. If you have the app, I would just go through and delete all the jobs off and then think about your home and think about your energy levels, your in particular circumstances, and then work out the energy that you have on average, obviously this can fluctuate, can ebb and, ebb and flow, and then work out what jobs you want to do over a week. And someone said as well, have odd and even jobs, like odd weeks and even weeks. So maybe you have um, on an odd week, you do some things and on an even week, you do others. Expand Tom, have it so that it's like a 10 week cycle, a 12 week cycle. It's so flexible, expand it so that it spreads over the amount of time that you have available. And I think that is the one thing that I would say. If you have the app, go and delete everything. Sit down, work out your energy levels, work out what needs to be done, divide what needs to be done over a realistic amount of time that you can do each day. And it will take you longer. But that, from what everyone's saying, is the best way to go about this. I hope that this has been in some way useful. Please, please, please go and read that thread. I will leave a link to it in the description below. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're happy, healthy and well. And don't forget, there is more to life than housework. Love you lots.